up everybody, it's American Gamer Tim coming guys with another uh, tutorial video with my Twitch um, series. I'm having a little Twitch series going on where I'm going to show you guys different tutorials for Twitch um, and different things you can do with Twitch. Ouch! Let's show that in the background. I went to take off my coat and I hit my my jacket and I hit my hand on the desk. Ow. Okay. But yeah, today I'm going to show you guys a quick little tutorial on how to add uh, Twitch overlays to, uh, to, to like, GIMP. If you have your GIMP software right here, you'll be able to add something up here and something at the bottom. So, yeah. What I'm going to do, is, or what you're going to do, is just start off by downloading and installing uh, GIMP. If you guys um, don't know how to install it, go... I might have did another video online on how to uh, install GIMP. I'm pretty sure I did a video on how to install GIMP. Um, I'll check that real quick as the thing loads up. YouTube. There we go. Alright, so. One second. I'm gonna. I gotta load up YouTube real quick because I gotta get some. Um, yeah, I'll do that in a second. So, what you're gonna do is you have that right there. And since mine doesn't have it, only has the one tool right here. On the left side, you're just going to right-click Windows. Toolbox brings up the second one. It should have. Or you go to Windows, and then you go single window. No, not single. Oh, jeez. Oh, not single window mode. Windows. Hide docs. No, my, oh, my God. I'm, like, crashing today. Holy cow. I'm going to go back into YouTube. We'll get loads. So yeah, well, um, what you're gonna do in the meantime, while well, that loads, is you're going to go over to I'm gonna you're gonna go over and you're gonna look up any Im or any color you want. I'm gonna do um um oh what color should I do? I'm gonna do black. I did black with the other one. I'm gonna do black with this one. I'm just going to go over to my channel that loads. And what you're going to do is you're going to just look up black on Google or whatever color you want. Um, and then, well, that loads. Let's see here. Well, that loads. I'm going to check up on the thing if I uploaded how to install GIMP. Pretty sure I did. Somewhere. If I, if I did, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, tutorial, outro, sports mod. Um, there you go. So you're gonna see black right there. Just gonna click on images. No, I don't think I did. How to install GIMP, huh? All right, you're just gonna find an image right there. And you're just gonna take that image right here and minimize that and just drag the image to your desktop. I'm gonna get a little bit darker of a black right there. That's perfect, just like that. And you're gonna go over there and you're going to open back up. Not Skype, that's Skype on my other window. You're gonna open up GIMP. And you're just going to go to Windows, Recently Closed Docs, or, um, Toolbox, New Toolbox. If that doesn't work, you're just going to uncheck that. Toolbox. What? Oh! Showing up over here. And also the Windows, Recently Closed, or, uh, to do brushes. There you go, you know, layers and brushes. There you go. Everything showed up right there. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go head over back to OBS, right here this kind of looks a little weird but what you're just gonna do is you click settings move or i'm gonna exit out of that so that way i can move it you go to settings and it's gonna bring up this right here then you're gonna go to uh video or is it not that word i see it general nope broadcast nope uh, audio no whatever the heck i just saw i saw it somewhere and told me the size of it pretty much what you're gonna do you're gonna find the size of the screen if i go to video or broadcast i'm i'm losing it. i think i'm losing it i just saw it on here somewhere file and you're gonna click new and put in the size that you want which for some reason i cannot find where the heck is it um Huh. 
Just so pretty much look around and find the size that your screen needs. I'm sorry, I can I can generally not find this. So I can find it before and I can't find it now, are you kidding me? Um, I couldn't find it. I don't know why I couldn't find it. I don't know what I did. Just create it as that. That should be a good enough size right there. That's a normal size for your screen. And if not, you can just edit it using a simple command. So once you have the color that you have and you have this open like this, you're going to find the color that you chose. Mine's right here. You're just going to drag it onto your thing right there. And then size this back to the size it wants to be. And what you're going to do is click on background. That was the background that you just created. And you're going to click delete layer. So now you got the um, the transparent background on it. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go right here. And you're going to click on. Um, where is it? I'm going to drag this out a little bit. You're going to click on the move tool. And move it up into the top right corner. Or top left corner. And you're just going to click the scale tool right there. Move that down and scale it to the size that you care for but that's about good for me and you're just gonna click scale and it'll scale it's right there maybe a little bit larger scale and now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna right click on images over here that's got the black thing you're just gonna click duplicate layer and go back to the move tool and just move that all the way down to the bottom of the screen so there you go I'm just gonna angle that so that it all fits There you go, that's close enough. Yeah, actually that works. A little something in the corner, but it doesn't matter. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to go over to the A right there, and you're just going to type in whatever your logo is, or uh, like welcome to stream and stuff like that. But first what you want to do is you're going to want to open back up that right there, and go to, um, Go to what the heck is it? I don't know. You're just gonna go back to Google and you're gonna look up on Google their um like the YouTube logo. If you have YouTube, go to YouTube, type in YouTube and go to um images somewhere, more images. And you're just gonna go search tools. Search tools and then color and transparent. It's going to go through, it's going to find all the transparent ones, you just click on that. And it's going to look for the complete transparent background like this one does. And then you're just going to minimize that behind you and just drag that to your desktop. If that loads. Oh, I clicked on it. Have that loaded up, click it, drag it, you're pretty much set. If I can... Mm. There we go. Drag it to your desktop. There you go. If you don't see anything back that behind there, perfect. If you see something behind there, you screw it up. Not much you can do again if, if you have like Twitch and stuff like that. I don't have any social media, so I'm just gonna put uh, Twitch. Uh, I don't even need the Twitch right there. I'm just gonna take that and just drag that right here, and you're gonna open up. I'm gonna drag this onto my other monitor real quick, just so I have easier access to it. You're just gonna drag the YouTube logo onto the screen right there. It's gonna show up pretty big. That's why. You have the size tool. Size it down to as small as you want. Click scale and then click the move key and drag it onto the screen. Well, drag it onto the screen right there. I'm going to do YouTube. That's. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, crap. I didn't think about the YouTube logo that good. Alright. Either way, I'll just leave that up there for right now. I'm going to click at right there, and you're just going to drag that, and type in whatever you want. I'm going to choose the color to be bold and white, and you're just going to type in whatever you want. I'm going to do at American Kid Gamer right there, and you're just going to click off of that right there, and go over to like the move tool or something like that, and then you can just scale it to how you like. Done. Now what you can do is you can add some more stuff if you want to. You can add your own custom designs. In fact, if you wanted to add a little bit something cooler, you can go into here and add a little cooler design, which I like to do right here. Is you have to add a few more of the um, black image layers or whatever color image layer you use, but in the end it looks pretty awesome. There has to be a better way to do this. I don't know the better way to do this, 
There probably is a very better way to do this, and I'm just not doing this correct. Um, but there is probably a very, very better way to do this. Drag that up right there, and just set that somewhere in the middle of the screen. Um, then you're going to take the second black right there, drag that back, click the um, scale tool, scale it down like that, click scale, click the rotate tool, which is right here, and rotate it to the size you want, just angle it like that, and then add it in the corner, just like that, perfect, not perfect, now it's perfect, go back, Add another black. Let's, last time we're using all these colors. Then you're going to click on the rotate tool. Rotate the other way. Click scale. And scale that down to size. Scale. Move tool. And move it. Just like that. Now there you go, and then then you can go in and and th then then, and then you can go in right there and you can just type in um whatever your stream thing is. I'm just gonna add another, change that to red this time. And I'm gonna type in, American. Kid, that's not even typing. American. Kid, oh my god. And then um not caps. Highlight it, and change the color to red. Click OK, and then click off of it. Right there, American King Game. Er, there you go. And then you're set. That's pretty much it for that. And then what you're gonna do last is you're just gonna click File, Save. Wait, nope, don't save. File, File, Export, and then export it to wherever you want. I'm just gonna export it to my desktop export and then there it is right there and you can close out a gimp you don't need that anymore this card changes probably won't come back to that um and there's the image right there close out of there you go right there open that up like that and that'll open up just like that youtube american kid gamer at american kid gamer i don't know okay i thought there was a space there now the last thing you need to do is open up OBS right there. And you're going to just click on add, right click, I'm going to go to Twitch scene. Right click, add, and you're going to do image, and then name it whatever you want. I'm going to do overlay, click OK, and you're going to click browse, open up the folder right there, you're going to click desktop, and you're just going to find the YouTube logo right there, or the Twitch logo right there, click OK. And there you go right there, you just click edit scene and drag it to edit the scene. Now see, I did this too small, but what you can always do is you can do control, shift, and then drag it to the size. That's something really cool about OBS. That's kind of a cool OBS um, twi uh, t tidbit right there. Beautiful overlay, it looks absolutely amazing. Um, I'm going to add it with, um, actually... Uh, yeah, I'll shut off the desktop so you guys can just see that overlay right there. So yeah, that's what's going to end up looking like. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, I'm going to try to get back to the regular screen. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. So much you guys want me to do next, uh, more Twitch videos, let me know. Other than that, I will see you guys later. Peace. Oh, oh, oh.